the transformation that took place inside Tesla's Fremont factory during the third quarter of 2025 was not just an industrial reorganization, but the silent harbinger of an automotive revolution maturing behind closed doors. While the market discussed declining sales and analysts speculated about the company's future, engineers worked tirelessly on something that would redefine not only Tesla, but the very structure of the electric vehicle sector. Thus, the Model 2 began to take shape as a hidden project, molded between shadows and steel, carrying within its essence the promise of making electric mobility as common as breathing. And each adjustment, each piece, each refined code revealed that a new chapter was about to emerge. In early 2025, as investors pressured Tesla and headlines predicted a potential lost decade, the company did what it always did in critical moments. It remained silent. No explanatory speeches, no traditional press conferences, just work. Beneath the apparent financial chaos, there was strategic discipline, and in Fremont, the reorganization was not a sign of retreat, but of preparation. For those observing closely, each structural change, each isolated area, and each altered material flow revealed that something extraordinary was being incubated. The Model 2 was not born as a response to the market, but as the game-changing coup. The first publicly visible clues emerged on August 14, 2025, when drones captured intriguing images flying over Fremont. Among metallic shadows, camouflage structures, and covered prototypes, new parts appeared that didn't belong to any known Tesla vehicle. Elongated objects, smooth surfaces, outlines of megapieces. The widely shared video raised suspicions that Tesla had begun production of an ultra-compact model. The internet was buzzing. But inside the factory, absolute silence prevailed, as if the company were waiting for the exact moment to reveal the inevitable. As the third quarter progressed, something even more surprising began to happen. Camouflaged vehicles moved autonomously within the facilities, navigating between industrial zones with millimeter precision. It was FSD in its unsupervised version, running in a real production environment as a prelude to total automation. Engineers watched on panoramic screens the continuous learning of the artificial intelligence, which interpreted paths, adjusted speeds, and avoided obstacles without any human command. If FSD had been a distant dream until then, in Fremont it was becoming daily practice. This internal movement strengthened rumors about an imminent launch, and in the fourth quarter of 2025, Elon Musk finally dropped the clue the world needed. More affordable models are coming. The statement, though brief, confirmed what everyone suspected. But no one imagined that the Model 2 would not only be more affordable, it would be the epitome of a new way of building cars. A vehicle designed to break paradigms, not to compete. A car conceived with the explicit goal of being manufactured by millions, not hundreds of thousands. Their project began with the structure, where one of the greatest innovations emerged. The ultra-compact modular chassis, developed to reduce costs, simplify design and accelerate production. Unlike previous models, whose complexity involved hundreds of parts assembled in distinct stages, the Model 2 would use an almost minimalist philosophy, similar to that of electronic devices. The car ceased to be a puzzle and became a sculptural piece of continuous engineering. This allowed for a lighter, more rigid, and surprisingly cheaper to produce base. But the real leap forward was the adoption of megacast parts produced in colossal 50,000-ton presses, something never before seen in the automotive sector. Each press replaced dozens of smaller parts, eliminating thousands of welds and drastically shortening the time needed to assemble a car. Where 6,000 welding points were previously required, now only 400 remained. This reduction was not merely aesthetic or economic. It was structural, creating a more resistant platform less prone to corrosion, and more precise in absorbing mechanical forces over the years. The gains in robustness were accompanied by a reduction of approximately 90 kilograms in the car's total weight, a number that made all the difference in performance and range. This structural lightening allowed not only for lower energy consumption, but also for more responsive, almost sporty dynamic behavior. It was as if the car had been sculpted to float above the asphalt, balancing rigidity and lightness in an almost artistic way. And this balance, extremely rare in compact vehicles, placed the Model 2 in a completely new category. The structural battery integrated into the chassis, bonded with aerospace adhesives, completed the mechanical transformation. It was no longer just a matter of installing a battery inside the car, the battery era part of the car. 
Its presence as a structural element increased torsional rigidity by almost 30%, making the vehicle safer, more stable, and more durable. The technology, previously seen in experimental concepts, was now reborn as a mass production solution, showing that the future of automotive construction was inextricably linked to electrification and the deep integration between energy and structure. This integration had a direct impact on performance. Despite not using a more powerful engine, the Model 2 delivered acceleration typical of supercars, 0 to 100 km h in just 2.9 seconds. It was a counterintuitive phenomenon, as Tesla had not pursued brute force, but rather extreme efficiency. The combination of reduced weight, optimized rigidity, and mass distribution promoted an almost perfect energy transfer between the motor and wheels, producing a feeling of acceleration that defied expectations for an affordable car. Beyond its physical engineering, the Model 2 incorporated a new axis of intelligence, the low-power mode. When parked, the vehicle automatically switched off functions that drained power, intelligently and silently conserving energy. This feature was not just a convenience, but an important step towards making everyday use more efficient. The battery ceased to be a passive element and became an active management system, reminiscent of the behavior of advanced portable devices that optimize every available milliampere. The vehicle's digital heart evolved alongside its structure, and FSD version 14 elevated autonomous driving to a new level. With processing at 120 frames per second, it perceived the environment with almost human clarity, interpreting traffic scenarios with impressive naturalness. This advancement transformed driving into something safer and more fluid, reducing driver stress and paving the way for a future where the car will not only be a means of transportation, but an intelligent partner that shares decisions. The customer experience, so criticized by competitors who still relied on physical dealerships, underwent a parallel revolution. Tesla completely eliminated intermediaries and bureaucracy, implementing a 100% digital purchasing process. In just a few taps, the customer configured their car, signed documentation, tracked production, and received the vehicle directly at their door, already charged and ready to drive. It was the pinnacle of technological simplicity applied to consumption, creating a direct and continuous relationship between manufacturer and owner. Another pillar of this transformation was remote maintenance, with over 80% of problems being solved through software updates. Visits to repair shops became virtually obsolete. The car evolved over time, gaining features, correcting flaws, and improving performance without the driver even having to think about it. For unavoidable physical repairs, Tesla implemented a home maintenance service, sending specialized technicians to the customer's home, eliminating travel and invisible time costs. FSD, in turn, was introduced with a calculated strategy. All new Model 2 owners received 90 days of free use. This immersion period was enough for the driver to realize the real value of the technology, creating a natural and almost inevitable adoption of the monthly subscription. The system ceased to be a futuristic luxury and became integrated into the daily routine, making each trip more efficient, safer, and more predictable. A positive technological addiction was formed, and with it, a new continuous source of revenue. While these features delighted consumers, engineers highlighted the profound impacts on the vehicle's life cycle. The reduction in welds made the structure more robust against vibrations and corrosion, significantly extending its durability. Extreme simplification of assembly reduced the chances of failures and inconsistencies between units. The unified chassis, combined with aerospace-grade adhesives, created a car prepared for decades of use. It was a vehicle built not just to be bought, but to remain. This extended durability also had important economic implications. Fewer structural repairs meant lower costs over the years, reducing the total cost of ownership and making the car attractive not only to those seeking an inexpensive vehicle, but also to those thinking long-term. For the first time, a compact car offered qualities typical of premium, highly durable vehicles, but at an affordable price and with minimal maintenance. It was a direct blow to the heart of the traditional industry. In the field of safety, the Model 2 was also ahead of the curve. The structural rigidity of the integrated battery provided greater protection in side collisions, while the reduction in welding points decreased vulnerable points on the chassis. Advanced sensing systems, powered by FSD, expanded the car's vision beyond human capabilities, 
analyzing the environment in 360 degrees and anticipating risks seconds in advance. In critical situations, the car reacted even before the driver perceived the danger. This set of factors made it clear that Tesla wasn't just building a new product, but a new philosophy of mobility. Each element, from modular production to FSD, from home delivery to megaparts, composed a perfect strategy for scaling to millions of units. It was a vision that united engineering, manufacturing, software, and customer experience into a single coherent narrative. And this narrative converged on one point, making the electric car universal. For competitors, the impact would be devastating. Companies that had invested decades in complex structures and dependence on multiple suppliers would need to rethink entire processes from scratch. Tesla demonstrated that manufacturing an electric car was not a matter of adapting old techniques, but of reinventing the very logic of automotive production. The Model 2 showed that the future would not be won by those with the most tradition, but by those with the courage to break with tradition. The comparison chart between traditional welding and megaparts made this clear. Where traditional manufacturers accumulated thousands of joining points, Tesla worked with almost monolithic assemblies, where older models had hundreds of metal parts distributed throughout. The Model 2 used only three large structures. Where assembly required large teams and lengthy processes, the new model executed everything in simple, repeatable steps. This standardization was the secret to lower prices and accelerated production. And with lower costs, the social reach of the Model 2 expanded. It wasn't just another electric vehicle. It represented inclusion providing access to advanced technology for millions of people who could never afford a Tesla before. This movement not only democratized electric transportation, but also created a new mindset around energy consumption. Owners began to see their homes, their commutes, and their interaction with energy in an integrated way, as parts of the same ecosystem. The environmental impact of this transformation was equally profound. The elimination of intensive welding processes reduced indirect production emissions. Structural durability decreased the need for premature vehicle replacement. Energy efficiency converted kilometers into watts more smoothly and intelligently. Each Model 2 represented a practical step towards cleaner, more accessible mobility, less dependent on traditional industrial structures, showing that sustainability and technology can indeed coexist. Fremont, once a symbol of Tesla's focus on premium vehicles, was becoming the cradle of a massive era. Robots performing assembly, Vehicles navigating autonomously through the aisles, gigantic parts being pressed as if they were clay molds. Everything indicated that the factory had been redesigned for a new purpose. It was no longer about building cars. It was about building the future on an industrial scale. This new production flow illuminated a silent shift in the history of mobility. As the Model 2 evolved, investors realized that the sales slump at the beginning of the year had been a distraction from the real plan underway. Tesla wasn't seeking momentary stability, but a radical reconfiguration of its business model. The complete digitalization of the buying process was part of this change. By eliminating dealerships, the company also eliminated the human noise from the transaction. There was no sales pressure, no exhausting negotiation. There was transparency, precision, and experience. This digitalization also extended to logistics. The ability to track production in real time created an emotional connection with the manufacturing process, as if the customer were witnessing the birth of their own car. And when the delivery happened directly at the owner's home, loaded and ready to use, the first contact ceased to be bureaucratic and became exciting. It was an almost ceremonial moment, where technology and expectation met at the doorstep. Inside the car, this emotion transformed into discovery. The vehicle's operating system, powered by evolving artificial intelligence, adapted to the driver's driving style, frequent routes, and even routine. FSD wasn't just an autopilot, it was a co-pilot that learned daily, refining its decision-making and creating a sense of technological partnership rare in other vehicles. This daily interaction made the car more than just a machine, it became a digital being. With this partnership, the concept of the robo-taxi also emerged. Although not yet specified in detail by the company, the technological foundation for it was already in place. A car capable of driving itself within factories, capable of analyzing complex environments and making autonomous decisions, was a car ready to operate in the real world. 
the promise of passive income began to take shape in the popular imagination, transforming the Model 2 into a financial asset in addition to a means of transportation. The possibility of using one's own vehicle as a source of future income, coupled with the low cost of acquisition and maintenance, made the Model 2 a symbol of economic independence. For many, it wouldn't just be their first electric car, but their first automotive investment ever. A car that could work while the owner slept, travel autonomously, learn autonomously, evolve autonomously. It was, in a way, a timid beginning of a new relationship between humans and autonomous machines. The cultural impact of this perspective was remarkable. Forums, technology channels, and online communities began to organize around intense debates about what it would mean to live in a world where cars think, analyze, and drive themselves. This collective enthusiasm rekindled something that seemed lost, a sense of technological wonder, the feeling that we are witnessing the birth of a new paradigm, and the Model 2 was at the epicenter of this cultural transformation. But despite all this enthusiasm, the essence of the change remained engineering. The mega parts weren't just big, they were precise. The 50,000-ton press operated with impressive tolerance, shaping aluminum with the same delicacy with which a sculptor works their most delicate clay. Each piece came out identical to the previous one, allowing assembly to happen with absolute fluidity, without complex adjustments, without room for human error. It was digitized manufacturing in its purest form. This precision had a direct impact on the scale of production. The less variability between parts, the faster cars could be assembled. Tesla knew this and bet heavily on its ability to produce not thousands but millions of units per year. Unlike competitors who tried to replicate traditional techniques, Tesla was building a factory for a new world. More than just machines, it was an autonomous organism for electric vehicle production. And on that scale, every detail mattered. The low consumption mode, for example, was a small component of the experience, but a gigantic leap in energy optimization. It ensured that even cars parked for long periods maintained adequate charge. This intelligent behavior made the Model 2 a self-sufficient partner. A car that takes care of itself, that thinks about its own energy, that manages itself without human intervention. This automation reflected a larger pattern. The vision that a car should be as intuitive as a smartphone, as reliable as a high-performance computer, and as simple to operate as a household appliance. To achieve this, Tesla needed to combine software, structure, intelligence, and design into a single integrated product. The Model 2 thus became the point of convergence between all the technological areas that Elon Musk had been developing for decades. Simplicity was also part of the business strategy. By eliminating dealerships, Tesla reduced costs and standardized experiences. Each customer received the same service, the same process, the same transparency. In this way, the company created a stronger brand and a direct relationship without intermediaries that could distort the organization's philosophy. This linearity was also a way to ensure global consistency, but the post-purchase experience was even more revolutionary. Remote updates made the car's lifespan a continuous flow of evolution. The vehicle purchased in 2026 would be significantly better in 2027, 2028, and 2029 because new features would be added and problems fixed without hardware replacement. This logic transformed the car into a living platform that never remained static. It was the end of planned obsolescence. At the heart of it all was the user. The company knew that the car would be the gateway for millions of people into the Tesla ecosystem. Therefore, the Model 2 needed to be more than efficient. It needed to be inspiring. The feeling of starting the car for the first time would be accompanied by the realization that something special had been acquired. Not an ordinary vehicle, but a personal turning point. As if the future had been placed in the owner's hands. This feeling was supported by data and technical analyses that confirmed the Model 2 would lead a new phase in electric mobility. From then on, the market would stop treating electric cars as aspirational products and would begin to see them as the standard. Cities would need to adapt, governments would need to update policies, and consumers would need to reassess expectations. It was the beginning of a major social transformation driven by a compact and silent machine.